Yo, what is up guys? For today we're talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically we're going to be talking about the Guardian Games event that's coming out next week. Now, I'm going to show you guys the trailer real quick. I'll be right back. Welcome to the Guardian Games. These games are Zavala's way of bringing us all together to celebrate. Enjoy the games, my friend. You deserve it. So now that you guys seen the trailer, I personally, so let's let's get right into it. I think the trailer was fine. I did not see much items. I did not see like Eververse items, in-game items. I didn't see much of that. All I all we saw really was like the cloak, the bar, the mark, the the bond. And that's pretty much it. I see, like, aside from a few emotes, like, here and there sprinkled over, but I didn't see much. I didn't see a whole lot. So that's why I'm going to be on the website so I can show you guys what actually was there. So, first and foremost, I think the class items look pretty cool. I'm definitely not going to wear most of them, if not at all, most likely because the silver bronze and gold are probably not going to be able to change color which means you're practically stuck with that color so unless you have a character that has like gold look then that armor will look good with it or bronze or a silver now i'm someone who values aesthetics when it comes to destiny 2 so i try to make my my classes as cool as they can be and as unique as they can be so i usually never use another armor set from another previous season so this is unfortunate if if and only if i can't change the color then maybe i can probably go with a gold theme armor but uh, i don't know at that point i'm just trying to make it look good so not saying they don't look good i think they all look amazing uh tight the titans particularly me thinking like they have probably the best one out of all of them i think the hunters is fine but that gold thing on their head just looks weird to me it looks like a fucking tumor and then the the warlocks although it is cool it's a bond it's never usually really anything too crazy for me so let's get right into it so let's let's start talking about this first this armor i have a few opinions on this a if this is the armor we get in game then I can I can fuck with it. I can probably see what I can do with it. If it doesn't change color, as in the blue, the red, or the yellow do not change color, I immediately hate this armor because, like I said, I value aesthetics. So if I have to literally try to make a shader from red, blue, white, and yellow make look good with some other armor set, I'm immediately just like, fuck this. I'm never going to use this. So... Again, if that if these colors do not change, this armor is immediately just garbage to me. And when I say garbage, I don't mean like it looks garbage. I think it looks pretty cool. I think the Titan's shoulder looks awesome. I think the Hunters, pretty much everything look amazing. And I think the Warlock's helmet and a little bit of their, their cloak looks really cool. Cloak? No. Um, chest piece. I think they all have cool things that I would love to put in other pieces of armor. But like I said, if I can't change any of the color, then that's pretty much just like where I draw the line. Like maybe I can use the Hunter's helmet, maybe the Warlocks and the Titans as well. But other than that, I don't think I could be able to use anything else. So hopefully it changes color. Here's the other side of that coin though. If this is Eververse armor, I immediately don't care because I'm not paying $15. In general, I never pay $15 for armor because why the fuck would you? But I'm also not really that keen on like, let's say for some unknown reason, I pay $15 for this just for the armor not to be able to change color. Like imagine this armor being locked to blue, yellow, and red. Like that would piss me off. $15 for an armor set that is literally color blocked would piss me off. So. Like I said, if this is in-game, I'll probably make it work. If it doesn't change color, it'll piss me off. But at the same time, whatever, it's in-game. Uh, I'm happy with that. If this is paid, I do... Hmm, nah, man. 
not only are you making this $15 each, but you're also going to have it locked to a color. That's not it, Chief. That's definitely not it. So, again, I'm either or, but to be honest, if it doesn't change color, I don't care. And I never going to use it. If it changes colors, then yeah, I'm, I could use some of these. I could actually use the, the Titans arms, the hunter's chest, no arms, the hunter's arms. I could use for sure. Maybe the helmet too. And then the warlocks, probably the helmet arms or the legs. If I think they look cool enough, but yeah. Overall, I don't think this armor looks bad. I just, again, there's a lot of things that I, that I have to think about when it comes to this armor. Classy competition. Meet with Diva and Zavala to test your skills in a series of daily class challenges. So, from what I've heard, this is not fact. This is not like set in stone. But from what I've heard, this is actually going to be bounty related. So, basically... Let's say you're a hunter, you get into the hunter class and you do as many bounties as you can. And that's how you contribute to the hunters winning. And if that is the case, I'm immediately bugging out. I'm not, I'm, I'm dipping dog. I don't care about, I don't, like, first of all, I don't care about this armor. So if this is the reward, I'm probably not going to give enough of a fuck to like go out of my way to do a bunch of fucking bounties. Uh, the class items, again, I don't give a fuck enough to me actually do all that shit. So, if it's really, Bungie, if you really expect people to, like, be excited for bounties, then, dog, this is DOA. This is dead on arrival, bro. Like, please don't do, please don't do bounties. Do something else, man. Do, like, Give us, give us, okay, this is how I would do it. Give us the class item. So I'm a, I'm a hunter. So give me the, the class item for the hunter. And whatever activity I do counts as a point. And if it's a hard activity like a raid, a nightfall ordeal, trials, comp, any of that, then immediately give me two more points or something like that. That way there's more like engagement not only in other playlists but it also gives me a reason to do other stuff instead of just doing bounties because if it's bounties i can guarantee you a if they're really easy and cheesable people are just going to do that we're going to cheese because people tend to take the path of least resistance and that sounds like the least resistance to me but yeah hopefully it's not bounty related if it is uh this is doa it's going to be fucking uh faction rallies all over again and in my opinion faction rallies were a lot better because you got cool armor and you represented your faction or just bring back factions how they used to be like i'll beat that dead horse to death like just whatever so daily reward packages a new exotic machine gun new exotic ghosts new metallic class items that change between bronze silver and gold based on your class standing when Guardian Games comes to a close, your item's metallic appearance locks for the rest of the seat for the year. Oh. Oh, I, I don't care. Like, like again, I just, whatever. Like, that means that, oh, and that, can we choose from gold, bronze, or silver? Like, or is it like, oh, yeah, we got gold, so haha, there you go. It also comes into question, like, well, I have three characters, so if the like, let's say for so for some ungodly ungodly reason, the Titans win and they get the gold. But I was playing on my my hunt, all, well, all my classes. Does my Titan still get it? Because I like, there's so many questions that I would love for Bungie to answer, but it's not that big a deal to be honest. But this is one of the items, the LMG. I'm actually really excited for this because it's a new exotic. We've never seen it. I would have loved to see an exotic quest for this as in an actual like story mission kind of thing. But I mean like whatever. Uh, it's a new gun and hopefully it's not bad because if it is bad then it's... <sighs> yeah, it, it looks cool. That I can say that. You fall into second place as you... Wait. You fall into second place as you reach for the last trick in your arsenal. The low hum assures you that you've pulled the trigger it begins to spin slowly for a moment and then an instant blinding fast the roar of the air apparent rises from the crowd the tide turns and the glory of your class is secured cool i guess eververse this is a ship i'm guessing this is like the, one of the only things that from eververse i've seen bring home the win 
Oh, this is a reward. So I'm guessing you pay money for this. Uh, whatever. I, okay. So yeah, let's see the armor real quick. This, damn, I like, I like the, okay, I like this. They got cool boots because that shit look fire. Um, Titans have pretty cool boots as well. And then the Hunters have like really dingy boots, but whatever. doesn't really matter to me. This looks fine. I don't, I think I don't have an issue with it. Like, it's just like I said, if it doesn't change color and if it's from Eververse, then it's just kind of like, okay, so cool. Now only do I have to pay money, but it doesn't change color as well. If this is in game and changes color, that would probably be the best scenario in my opinion. But again, I highly doubt it. We end up seeing the wall. So we end up seeing the new exotic ghosts. These are it. I, I don't. Let me, let me just, for people who can't hear, I just don't care about this. This is just very like, uh, it looks so bad. Like, I just don't like it at all. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get like into the whole like thing of like, oh, this looks lazy and all this. I just don't care about it, to be honest. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I personally don't care to be, to be honest. Like. They don't look good. If these, if this is Eververse, she can keep this shit. This shit looks gross. And here are the cloaks. Like I said, this thing right here looks like a big ass tumor, and I don't like it. And okay, so bronze. Damn, that's a lot of bronze, silver, and gold. Like I said, this is mostly the reason why I'm never gonna be wearing this. Mostly because I don't like armor that doesn't change color. So if that is the case, then yeah, I'm not wearing any of this and again this does not look bad it's just if data doesn't change color i don't care like this looks cool but again i can i i will keep saying that i don't like that cloak i don't like the back mm, that's quite unfortunate god i really hope i like i really hope you can get it somehow in game and that the color changes that's me being hopeful i probably shouldn't be that hopeful but whatever and this is i'm guessing from eververse as well where you can show your your class off damn that helmet looks cool That looks cool, but yeah, this that's pretty much it. Uh, there's nothing too crazy going on. I think the ne the event next week is very lackluster from what I've seen so far. I am more than happy to get into it when it when I when it comes, but I am not feeling too excited or anything in particular. Mostly because I am kind of annoyed that we got this event, but we still don't have factions in the game. But that's another conversation for another time. Let me know what you guys think about the Guardian Games uh, event thing that's coming out next week. I will for sure make a video of not only what Eververse is selling, but like just basically the event itself and everything. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. And I will have the next video for the How to Make Destiny Better series that I'm doing probably right after like the day after i make this one go up so if you guys are interested in that the next one's gonna be about gambit if i remember correctly so yeah i will see you guys later